Today I'm gonna show you a tool called HitPow Photo P and with HitPow Photo P we can restore photos, we can upscale photos and we can make the quality of photos a lot better. So if you got old photos and you wanna make them better in quality, you can simply import these photos into HitPow Photo P and it will do everything for you. So you don't need any knowledge about photo restoration. You can do everything inside this tool and I've tried it out and it's really good. So let me show you a couple examples of how this works and then you can download it and try it out yourself. Here I'm at the starting screen of HitPow Photo P and you can see we can do a lot of things to our photos. We can upscale our image, we can do face swaps, we can do remove objects, we can remove backgrounds, etc. So it's all up to you what you want to do with your photo. But today I'm going to go to image restoration and I'm going to show you how we can restore an image. So let's click on image restoration and then I'm going to upload my image. So I'm going to click on upload image and this is the photo I'm going to upload. You can see in this photo, it's really bad quality. It's an old photo and I want to restore this. So let's click on open then it's giving me a prompt and this prompt is automatically generated to restore your image you can obviously change this prompt if you want to but i'm gonna leave it as it is in model we can also change the template but i'm not gonna do that because it's already set to a good template for restoring photos then we have the image size so if you want to change the image size we can do that here i'm also going to leave it as it is and i'm just going to click on generate and now it's generating our photo and let's have a look at the result. And here is the restored photo. It's in color now. And let's click on AI upscale. And I wanna sharpen this photo. So let's click on sharpen model. We enable this. And when we click on preview, we can see a preview of our sharpened photo. And look at that. On the left side is the before and on the right side is the after. And look how sharp that looks. On the left, we have this really old photo that was black and white. And on the right side is the repaired photo. Let's do another photo. Let's do a normal photo. So not an old photo. I'm going to choose a photo. And let's say you have this wedding photo, but it's out of focus. You can see on the left side, we have this photo of this wedding, but the focus is horrible. Let's make sure to select a face model so we can restore the faces. You can click on select faces and then it's gonna select these faces. Now click on done, just to make sure we have the faces selected. Let's go for sharp. Again, we have the upscale model where we can upscale the photo. So if you wanna upscale this, we can just simply upscale it. Let's do 4X this time. So we have a really big photo. Let's first look at the upscaler. Let's go for preview here to see the before and after. And look at that, on the right side is the after. Look how blurry it was before and look how sharp it is now. Now let's do one more photo. Let's say you want to remove noise from your photo. This photo has a lot of noise because it was taken in low light. I just took this example photo so you can really see the difference. Let's go to denoise model and let's open up the denoise model. And then we have two different modes. We have the creative denoise and we have the realistic denoise. Let's download this one so we can really compare them both. Let's first generate a preview of the creative denoise and let's click on preview. Look at that, because we had a black and white photo, I accidentally enabled colorized model. And this actually looks pretty cool, but let's disable it for now so we can really see the before and after of the noise only. And there you have it. On the left side, you can see that noise in the background. Let me zoom in here so you can see this better. And on the right side is the after. And look how sharp that hand in the air looks. So this is the first denoise model. Then we have realistic denoise and let's do a preview of that one too. This also looks really good. So you can really pick the one you like most. I also have an upscale model enabled. So this photo would also be a lot bigger than the original one. So there you have it. Try it out yourself. I'll put a link in the description of the video and there you can download it for free and try it out yourself and see if this works for your photos. I really like to use this software because it's super easy to use and you don't need any knowledge about Photoshop or anything like that. So thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.